Hi folks! Some of you have asked me to make a short video to show you my solar setup and in particular you have asked me how I have set up my Daystar Quark chromosphere filter in combination with my camera and telescope. Now this setup I'm using is quite simple if you ask me. Uh, I first put my camera in the eyepiece holder of the Daystar Quark. After that I put a one and a quarter inch UV IR cut filter in front of the Daystar Quark like this. After that's done, I attach the Daystar Quark to my 18mm extension tube and then I connect that extension tube to my telescope. I've also used the Daystar Quark in combination with a 1.25 inch diagonal instead of that 18mm extension tube to get the correct neck focus. Now when using that diagonal, I first put the camera into the eyepiece holder of the Daystar Quark like I showed you before, but after that I connect the Daystar Quark to the diagonal like this. And when using the diagonal, I always place the UV IR cut filter in front of the diagonal like this. This will help you to reduce the energy of the sun before it hits the mirror of that diagonal. Now, as this is a one and a quarter inch diagonal, I used it in combination with a two inch to a one and a quarter inch adapter to connect that diagonal to my telescope. Now, you'll also need to power your Daystar Quark with an adapter. The Daystar Quark needs about 5 to 10 minutes to calibrate the filter to the exact wavelength you'll need to see the chromosphere layer of the sun. Now, if the calibration is complete, the light of the Daystar Quark turns from yellow to green. Now, if you're unsatisfied with the image, you can rotate the knob of the Daystar Quark clockwise towards the red part of the light spectrum or counterclockwise towards the blue part of the light spectrum. Now when you do, you'll need to wait an additional 5 to 10 minutes until your Daystar Quark is correctly calibrated as indicated by the green light. I'm currently using my 80mm aperture and 480mm focal length APO refractor telescope from Telescope Service. So that telescope has an F ratio of 6. And the Daystar Quark is actually designed for use on refractor telescopes with a focal ratio ranging from f4 to about f9. It is also important to mention that the Daystar Quark includes a 4.3 telecentric Barlow lens, so the image of the sun will appear about 4 times larger than when using your telescope without the Daystar Quark. You should take into account that you may experience Newton rings and you'll probably need an additional tilt adapter to get the full disc of the sun without those Newton rings. Now you can find the gear I've mentioned in the video description below. And I hope this was useful for you, so keep looking up!